As human beings, we like to think that there is something unique about our minds that makes us superior to the rest of the world. So it was a great shock when, in 1997, a supercomputer called Deep Blue beat the world chess champion Garry Kasparov. A mere machine had won at a purely mental challenge, defeating one of the strongest players ever. How had that happened? People came up with various excuses. Perhaps Kasparov had got tired, or perhaps he felt frightened of the machine. There was even a suggestion that the team of scientists overseeing Deep Blue. We're giving it some unfair assistance, but the true explanation is Deep Blue's sheer computing power. The powerful processes used by Deep Blue could analyze millions of possible moves. No human being could possibly consider so many options. So when Kasparov lost, many people said Deep Blue's victory is just another demonstration of a machine's power or strength. It doesn't really show intelligence or creativity. But if chess is not a test of intelligence, what is? Some people argued that the game of Go would be more appropriate. Go is played on a larger board, and there are many more possibilities. Human Go players often say they are compelled to choose a move by instinct, not by calculation. It seemed that computers would never have the creative intelligence to defeat a human Go champion. But then, in March 2016, a computer program called AlphaGo did defeat one of the world's best human players, the South Korean professional Lee Sedol. In a five-game match, the computer won by four games to one. Two aspects of this victory were particularly impressive. The first was how much the machine had improved. Six months before the match with Lee Sedol, AlphaGo had played a professional European goal player, a much weaker opponent. Although the computer won that match, it still showed certain weaknesses. In the following six months, however, the computer played many millions of games against itself, gradually learning how to improve. By the time it played Lee in March, it was much stronger. Lee acknowledged that the machine had been too strong for him. Although he said that it was a defeat only for him personally, not for humankind. The second impressive aspect was the way in which the machine played. It did not seem superior in calculating power. In fact, it made some mistakes. But in its creative use of strategy, in the originality of some of its moves, the computer seemed superior. This could not be described as a victory for mere calculating power. The program which defeated Kasparov at chess did so merely by simple calculation, but AlphaGo's success seems to prove that computers can also show intelligence and creativity. Perhaps that is why one commentator described AlphaGo as not just the best player of the past two thousand years, but also as a work of art.